Hello YouTube. Today we're making cinnamon raisin swirl bread. This is a recipe that I made up for us. We like a product with an all with anything that's all natural. So we adapted it to the King Arthur all-purpose flour, unbleached flour that they use. We also use an all-natural sugar and an all-natural cinnamon also. We're going to start this recipe out needing four cups of the King Arthur unbleached all-natural flour. And to that we're going to add a half a cup of all-natural sugar. It's called Merino Sugar. It's put out by the Zuka Company. To that we're going to add a half a cup of powdered milk, a half a cup, I'm sorry, a um, four tablespoons of wheat gluten, better known as bread conditioner, one teaspoon of salt. We're going to add the, these ingredients into the mixer and with the paddle, we're going to turn the paddle on and let it mix, incorporate them and mix it all together. Then we'll add our yeast and turn the paddle back on again and let it incorporate them all together again. And the reason we do that is you're not supposed to mix your salt and your yeast at the same time. The contact of the two can cause your yeast to not properly act like it's supposed to. So we've got all of our dry ingredients in and we're going to add those in and do like what I said about mixing it with using the mixer to incorporate them all together. We've got a quart jar that's got about three cups of hot water in it set aside and we're going to start adding that water slowly into there with the paddle. We're using our paddle to mix up our bread for us and once it all clumps together we will use the kneading attachment to knead the bread. You're going to want to be careful you're not going to knead all this water. You'll just keep adding it until you get enough water in there that it sticks together and once you see that it's right before it's about done is go ahead and add your quarter cup of olive oil that's the oil that goes in the the bread mixture be sure to add the olive oil that can make a difference in the taste I've done that before I've forgotten to add it and our bread was a little dry so once you've seen that it's all incorporated together with the the paddle we'll switch to the kneading attachment and that's going to do the real work for us. Normally we'd have to roll this out on the board and work that that pan. Our, our raisins will be incorporated in here and the only thing that will be setting aside waiting on us for a second step is a half a cup of brown sugar and three tablespoons of the Ceylon cinnamon all mixed and incorporated together and about four maybe five tablespoons of honey. What we're going to do when we take this mixture out is we're going to put it on a, a floured cutting board or a counter that have been cleaned before we put that on there and we'll uh, roll it out just like we were going to make a pie or something like that and we're going to roll it till it's covered about a 14 by 14 area that's just approximate and then we're going to take the cinnamon and sugar mixture and spread that out evenly over the whole whole area that we've rolled out kind of take your hand and kind of pat it down into the dough a little bit and then we're going to sprinkle not sprinkle we're going to pour the honey all over the top of that and because of the dry mixture being used it'll just kind of beat up on top of the cinnamon and sugar so it's not going to be runny at this point it's just going to be all beaded up together and once you get your honey on it I've got it in a dispenser here I didn't use a spoon or anything like that I just used a dispenser to squirt out the honey and kind of guessed at how much I put out it doesn't really matter you can put more if you like more you can use less if you don't like honey you could use syrup or molasses or something like that or if you don't have honey you want to use that and what we did when we got done was we rolled it up like we were going to do cinnamon rolls 
and we put it in our greased pan with the seam side down and then place it in the oven to rise. If you don't have a bread pan size that large you can use two small loaf pans just go ahead and roll it up into the the loaf and cut it in half with your knife place one in one bread pan and place the other one in the other one and you're going to let this rise till it just about doubles in size you know, you'll start out with about a little bit less than half of your pan being full of the bread dough and I do pat that down with my hand so it forms a nice looking loaf when it rises up after it's risen for 45 minutes to an hour in our oven that we heated up to kind of encourage it to rise we'll then turn the oven on to 350 degrees and we're going to bake it and what I do to keep the bread from not baking too long is I actually cover it with tin foil after it's baked about 10 minutes I cover it with tin foil if you're using the smaller baking pans it'll be done in approximately around 25 minutes if you use the larger pan you'll cover it with foil also after the 10 minutes and it's going to take longer than that probably around 35 to 40 maybe 45 minutes to cook how you can know that your bread is done on the inside is you can use a temperature probe or a thermometer and just stick it down into the center of the bread and it needs to come in at about 145 to 150 degrees then you'll know that your bread is done here's our finished product you can see it's a nice cinnamon raisin swirl bread it's excellent after it's been in the toaster if you would like your inside ingredients to be um, more gooey or be more runny you just add more of the cinnamon and honey in the cinnamon and the uh, honey and the brown sugar just add a little bit more of that and it's a little uh, has more of the cinnamon and all on the inside hope you enjoy this recipe like I said it's a favorite of ours if we lost you somewhere in the making of this video and you need extra help please send us a comment we'll be glad to help you out where we can Please also subscribe to our channel so you can be getting a, any kind of alerts on any other videos we have coming up. And please give us a thumbs up for this video. I'm the Pressured Prepper, and I'm out.